Hi everybody, this is Dan Talk Sense, and today I'll be doing a review of a fragrance from the house of Aaron Terrence Shoes, it's called Tabac. Now I've been wearing this fragrance over the last couple of days, so I'll give you my personal thoughts, and I'll also give you the thoughts of my work colleagues. I'm going to give you an idea of its performance of projection, I'll tell you what fragrances I feel it smells closer to, and I'll try and make a conclusion at the end on whether I would go out and buy a bigger bottle of this, or whether I think you should go out and buy a bottle of this yourselves. If that kind of content would interest you, then please stay tuned. If this is the first time dropping into my channel, my name's Dan, I'm a fragrance enthusiast from the UK and I've been running this YouTube channel for almost a year now, fully enjoying the journey. If you want to see more content from me, if you'd be kind enough to hit the subscribe button down below, that would be fantastic. Now, cracking on with this review. This was formerly known as Tobacco Oud and Vanilla and I was intrigued to know more about this fragrance because on Aaron Terrence Shoes website it states that this is 25% concentration and it's also 5% real oud. Now Aaron has stated on his website and in other forums that he uses real oud in some of his videos so I was intrigued to know what the oud would smell like. Um, I'm not a massive fan of oud fragrances, I don't own many um, and ones that I've wore in the past have not really impressed me. They've been a bit too polarizing and, uh, and I find like I couldn't really, didn't really enjoy them, shall we say. But I was intrigued to know what this smelled like. So I managed to get this 10 mil bottle for around 15 quid. Now, if you bought this 10 mil bottle from the website, you'll be looking at, I think it was 35 pounds. Now, if you went for a 50 ml bottle of this, you'd be paying 160 pounds. That is quite a lot of money um, for, for most people. And I'm one of the people that likes to grab a bargain. If you are too, then I'd advise that you join a page called Fragcom UK or Fragheads UK, if you're based in the UK. Um, there were similar pages around the world. Um, there's Fragcom Bangladesh that I'm aware of. There's the Emporium of Scents uh, group um, based in America, Max 40's group. And these are really good websites, um, uh, Facebook pages I should say, where you can swap and share decants of fragrances. You can actually pick one of these 10 mil decants off Aaron's website um, and this is the real presentation. I will show you this close up, what the presentation looks like of tobacco. So guys, as I say, the presentation of this 10 mil decal is as basic as it comes. Silver sticker on there that could quite easily peel off. Very, very simple presentation, but I suppose it's the juice that we're really interested in with this fragrance. When I first sprayed it on, I was initially quite um, underwhelmed. I smelled a little bit of an alcohol blast in the opening, which I wasn't expecting for the price of the fragrance. The oud was quite strong in the opening and it was a bit of a shock to me because um, I'm not used to smelling oud in all honesty, um, but it quickly died down and actually became really nice and I started to appreciate the oud. Um, I, I sort of got the hype of why people like smelling oud. It had this real nice smoky sort of incense feel to it. Um, and it's like a warm and comforting smell. Um, it added a little bit of spiciness to it. There's no spicy notes listed on the website or anywhere else, but it sort of gave me a sort of spicy sort of smell that I get with Tom Ford fragrances. Um, sort of reminded me of a Tom Ford um, Oud fragrance. Really, really nice. Now, the vanilla in this is not like tobacco vanilla. When I think of tobacco vanilla and I smell tobacco vanilla, I think of prestige candles. For me, this wasn't the same sort of vanilla. This was more of a creamy vanilla. It was kind of resinous. And it did remind me of a fragrance that I think really highly of, and that is Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Now imagine Mercedes-Benz Club Black. You took parts of that and you took parts of Tom Ford Amber Absolute and you put them together and you added really good, rich oud to those fragrances and you put them together and this is what I sort of got when wearing this fragrance. My only sort of disappointment with this is that it's pretty, it doesn't really change a great deal um, through the fragrance. So your most prominent note for me in this is that oud. It's sort of, it's powerful, 
Um, the projection on this fragrance is amazing. The performance is fantastic. Um, it lasts all day on me. I really enjoyed it and it sort of made me appreciate the, the note of oud, um, which I haven't appreciated up till now. And I do read in the website um, and, and what it states, I, I do feel um, from wearing this that it has got a higher quality of oud in this fragrance. It sort of made me appreciate uh, what real oud can smell like. And, and you know when you, you smell a sort of an artificial um, oud in a fragrance. So in terms of performance projection, um, fantastic. The quality is definitely there. Um, and um, I sort of picked up a little bit of rose as well in the dry down. It started to come in a little bit, but my only sort of, that was another little little disappointment is that I didn't smell more of the rose and it wasn't a more of a sort of a powerful um, note that came into the fragrance. Now, in terms of reactions from people, one of my work colleagues, Claire, um, was sitting at the table and I was standing up talking to her and she made a comment about me smelling nice. And I said to her, I didn't want to tell her the notes in the fragrance or, or say anything in, in detail. So I like to, to see how people interpret a fragrance without any um, prior knowledge. And what Claire said was that I smelled really musky and it was a really nice musk smell. Um, and that was her first thought, and I didn't tell her anything about the fragrance, but her, her thoughts were like it was a really nice musk smell, and she made a comment without me saying anything about the fragrance that she felt that I smelled nice. And then I was really um, happy to tell her that I'm a fragrance enthusiast, and I've actually got the YouTube page, and she did say that she was going to follow the page. So, Claire, you're on my YouTube channel now, okay? So the comments that I had from people... From, from one of my colleagues, Claire, was, was positive. It's the only comment that I had, feedback from other people, about the fragrance. I enjoyed wearing it myself and it lasted all day and I enjoyed the smell of me all day. There are times where we'll put fragrances on where we won't like the smell and we want to wash our, our arms or whatever, but I really enjoyed wearing this fragrance. And like I said before, two fragrances it reminded me of were Amber Absolute by Tom Ford, um, and also Mercedes-Benz Club Black, those two fragrances. Just because the vanilla was kind of like resinous, it was like a honey smoked tobacco that I smelt um, that, that was just nice, nice pipe tobacco, a bit rough, and it sort of reminded me of that sort of tobacco that you get with Mancera Red Tobacco, where it's just a bit rough, a little bit in your face, but, but enjoyable to wear, um, and just reminds me of like sort of smoking a cigar. Um, would I go out and buy a full bottle of this? Personally, I wouldn't because I think that £160 for 50 mils is, is quite a lot of money um, and for me. I think I'm satisfied with this 10 mil. It's quite powerful fragrance, actually, so a few sprays and you're good for the day. Um, but if but in, personally, I will probably stick to buying um, the smaller decants of this from the website. So if I was to go out and buy this again, I'd probably pay the 35 quid for the 10 mils. I think this will last me a long time. It's not something that I'll wear every day. I think it's something that you'd wear um, daytime in colder climates. I wore it today, springtime, and it worked really well, but I think this is something I'd really enjoy um, in the winter, sort of along the same lines as Carlisle, where it's resinous, a little bit spicy, creamy. If you like Carlisle, you will like this. Um, but they're my thoughts on um, Tobacco Oud and Vanille. Well, its updated name is Tabac. Um, let me know if you tried Tabac or Tobacco Oud and Vanille. Let me know your thoughts on the fragrance. Let me know if you would buy a bigger bottle, if you own a bigger bottle. And let me know any other fragrances from the house of Aaron Terrence Shoes that you enjoy. Uh, this is the third one from the house that I've smelled. I didn't like the fragrance called Slut. I didn't enjoy that one, um, but um, I enjoyed Ozone. I think it's a fantastic fragrance. And this is the third one, and I, I do actually like it. I'd probably rate this fragrance about an 8 out of 10. Um, if it was to get to a 10, I think that the price um, would be lowered slightly, and I would get a bit more of that rose coming through. That's what I'd want to smell from the fragrance, a little bit more of that rose, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, but they're my thoughts on tobacco. Let me know what your thoughts are on the fragrance. And um, I hope to see you all again very soon.